My name is Sarah Shimmer. I'm a former District A and District G City Council staffer, a professional mother and a person of faith. I've taken a vacation day to represent my family and speak in support of the non-discrimination ordinance. If I continue to sit in silence, I'm no better than those of you who sit in silence on council and continue to allow the perpetuation of an ignorant and observed generalization that members of an entire specific community are predators only interested in access to opposite gender bathrooms. I worked for council during a historic time when most women had a council seat. The distinguished women of council I had the privilege of working for taught me that the more inclusive you are, the better the outcome for the community. Being a parent gives you so much clarity and perspective. And as a mother of small children, I am teaching them to be good, productive citizens to see the value in all kinds of people. No matter what kind of people my children grow up to be, I want the best opportunities available for them, and this ordinance offers that opportunity. The LGBT youth who are watching, as a mother, I want you to know you are not broken. You are loved, and there's a whole community working for you to have a brighter future. Council members, be a leader, pass the ordinance. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for, hang on. Thank you for coming down, and, and uh, what is your daughter's name? Uh, Madeline. She's four. Madeline. Chair recognizes Council Member Cohen. Thank you very much. I, I particularly want to thank you, Buzz, because I think bringing your child here uh, makes a very strong case for what we're trying to do in this world, and that is to pass on the fact that we are inclusive, that hatred, homophobia, anti-Semitism, racism are things that we can't pass on. This is an old song from South Pacific. You've got to be taught to hate and fear. And the fact that you bring your daughter here, and even though she looks like she might be ready to fall asleep, I have a feeling <laughs> that someday she's going to remember this and she's going to hear those words that you said and you are to be congratulated. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Hughes. 